Hello and welcome back to KC Reviews. Uh, today we're checking out this Jurassic World Legacy Collection Gallimimus. Uh, it's one I've actually been looking forward to finding and have not had any luck. Obviously scalpers are selling them for like $50 to $70. I got it for a lot less because I found it at a Target actually. Uh, and I wanted it because I think it's honestly the best Gallimimus that they've produced. And, well, let's get into it. So, right here on the packaging, you see the Jurassic World Legacy Collection logo uh, with the park gates as well as the Tyrannosaurus. Down below, it says the Bronze Gallimimus, and it shows it does have action if you press the button there. On the back, it just shows the Gallimimus running. And right there, we can scan it. Get another dinosaur, pretty sweet. Here's the Legacy Collection. Uh, watch now, I have all of them but the Baby T-Rex and the Velociraptor from JP3. But I don't know if that's come out. I have not found anyone that has it, so we'll see. On the bottom is all your information you're going to need, as well as that mighty fine barcode. But let's get this thing out of the package. Alright, so here it is outside of the package, as you can see, has a really good shape, as well as the head sculpt, looks really nice. We'll compare it to one of the other Gallimimuses that I have, they are not as good looking, I don't think. I think this one is definitely the number one one you want to find. They are a lot harder, like I said, to find uh, without spending a lot of money. As you can see, it has like a light brown, almost tan on the underside into a brown into a dark brown with stripes as far as articulations it's uh, legs here let's get a better look its legs can go back forward and back they don't come in and out like the other figures though but they are they can go forward and back the arms though can go in and out like that as well as forward to back uh, the head you can have it go down and you can have it go all the way up. So honestly, it depends. Honestly, it would be really good for like dinosaur t toy photography and stuff like that. Because you could do lots of poses and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. So you can make it run by pressing this button down. It makes its legs go back and forth. So overall, I think it's a good figure. Uh, oh yeah, there's that barcode for you guys. No, it's a really nice figure. You can see the detail of it is really nice. And it honestly does look like the Gallimimus uh, from Jurassic World, at least. Um, the other two here, we'll do a quick comparison. I just, they seem so kind of goofy looking compared to this one especially. Let me get them real quick. 